created for the games of the 16th Olympiad, the Olympic Park consists of the stadium, the Montreal Tower, the Sports Center, and various fields. Almost 400 cubic meters of concrete were used to build the Olympic Park, enough concrete to create a 1 meter wide by 15 centimeter deep sidewalk from Montreal to Calgary. Since the stadium opened, it has been one of the busiest covered stadiums in the world. It holds 55,000 people in functions for large cultural, sporting, and commercial gatherings in various events such as trade fairs, sporting matches, motorized sports, and many more. In the early 90s, the rock band Metallica opened for Guns N' Roses. During the set, Lead singer James Hetfield burned his hand and had to cancel the remaining part of the show. Guns N' Roses' refusal to start early sparked a riot at the center. The Olympic Stadium Sports Center has six pools, a fully equipped fitness center, and a multi-sport room. The Montreal Tower is the highest inclined tower in the world with a 175 meter elevation at a 45 degree angle. To compare, the Tower of Pisa only has a 5 degree incline. The first 92 meters of the Montreal Tower are made up of concrete and the rest is made of steel. It has a mass of 166,000 metric tons and reached its final elevation in 1987. The upper part of the tower has a mass of 8,000 tons that is permanently joined to the concrete infrastructure. This infrastructure reaches down a dozen meters below level and has a mass of 145,000 tons where the tower's point of gravity is in the heart of the enormous tripod. This prevents it from toppling over. Up in the observatory, it can be reached by a two-level glass elevator that carries 76 passengers at a time. 76 also represents the year the Olympics came to town. During its peak, it made approximately 100 runs. It glides up the back of the tower on 266 meters of rail. The cable measures 600 meters and travels more than 2 meters per second for a full ride of 2 minutes. This landscape recreates a Baltic rock shore of volcanic island lying between the Antarctic Peninsula in the tip of South America with a sub-Antarctic climate. The temperature is kept between 2 degrees Celsius and 5 degrees Celsius. 
The length of daylight matches the natural cycle in the region. All the birds are part of the penguin family. Four species can be seen, including king penguins. The biodome's ecosystem covers a total of 1,620 square meters and it features a basin holding 2.5 million liters of seawater, which is produced on site. Because of this, it reveals some of the shapes and colors hidden in these cold, salty waters. The pathway runs along an underwater observatory where hundreds of fish swim. It continues past a saltwater mash frequented by teals, a variety of invertebrates, and steep rocky walls where seabirds nest. The granite rock recreates landscapes shaped by ice and millions of frost and thaws. The temperature is milder than the natural environment. In the summer, it is 17 degrees Celsius during the day and 15 degrees Celsius at night. It's also 15 degrees Celsius in the winter. The relative humidity is much higher in the summer, 60 to 70 percent, than in the winter, which is 23 to 30 percent. The water temperature at 10 degrees Celsius. In saline tea, 30 grams of salt per liter of water are similar to natural conditions. However, the thin, weak soil that collects in the crevices of the rocks is not normal. Sometimes a juniper or some tiny trees still manage to grow. The ecosystem also features a number of plants. In a 1,518 square meter reproduction of the, one of the most beautiful forests in Quebec, a mixed forest with deciduous and coniferous trees mingle. This man-made ecosystem awakes, blossoms, and changes colors and sleeps like natural seasons demonstrating how living things can adapt to a great variation of climates. Like nature, changes in temperature and light cause plants to become inactive towards the end of the summer. Many animals can be found roaming inside the biodome, including capybara, scarlet macaw, the hyacinth the macaw parrot, in the Golden Lion Tamarin. Notre Dame Cemetery on Mont Royal was founded in 1855 when a decision to expand the previous Saint Antoine Cemetery was made. It was not until 1854 when the 115 acre property including 25 or 30 acres of trees and 80 acres of cultivated land along Côte de Neige was purchased. Between 1855 and the end of the 19th century, several monumental structures were built, including the entry gate. Since it began housing the deceased, many famous Canadians have been laid to rest here. The Molson family, founders of Canada's most famous beer, are here. Also, Montreal's most accomplished and herald hockey player, Maurice Richard. He, along with his wife, is buried in lot number nine, overlooking St. Joseph's Oratory. <laughs>